A real flying saucer looks like this. An Avro car, manufactured in Canada, being test flown in 1961. Or like this free-flying air cushion vehicle being flown by its inventor, Professor Paul Muller, in 1965. But UFO sightings persist, and skeptics often become confirmed believers. I've slowly come to the conclusion that there are such things as interplanetary spaceships. I'll have to stick my neck out and say that because I believe it at long last. Psychiatrists often call these reported UFO sightings illusions, hallucinations, self-delusions. I'm not saying that there aren't things in the sky that we don't know about. What I am saying is that when there's anything that one doesn't know about, then the mind fills it with a great mass of fantasy. And that most of what we're dealing with in these reports is almost certainly fantasy. Fact or fiction, myth, menace, or marsh gas. This is an age when scientific and technological developments are rapidly making yesterday's fiction fact.